Chrysler. Why they have to be so dang difficult, I will never understand. Today I was going to do the oil change on the Jeep, but uh, couldn't find the oil filter. So I'd do a little research. So now I'm going to show you guys where it is and uh, how to do it. Um, I'm going to guess some of the Dodges are the same way. Uh, this is on 2016 Grand Cherokee. Uh, we'll get right into it. And so normally you would find your oil filter underneath the motor or at least on the side the bottom half no not on this one watch where we find this one This is where your filter is. Way up here. Should be under the motor. Nope. Chrysler's got to put it up top. All right, we'll see if we can get a uh, socket on that. Get that loose. And we can go down to the bottom. We work with a 5 15 16. Then we come under here. All right, now we gotta loosen this bolt right here to drain the oil into our pan. Finish taking this off. filter in there. Get that out of there. Should come out Pretty easy. There we go. Brand 
a new filter. And then this gasket goes right in here. Gasket in here. Take that off, put this one on. Nice and tight. I'm gonna go put the plug back in. Yeah. Put the pin uh, plug back in. Tighten that up in a second here. I don't know if you can see the blue line. I want it to line up right here where the other blue is. Right. Looks good there. Pens oil. Of course, there's many options out there. Uh, this one was fairly cheap, and Pens oil has been around for a long time. Full synthetic. So you can see we're at the full. Just about five quarts. So button this up. And this is as easy as your tensioner right here. Take this, put it in there. the belt off same time all right take that off the old one out Right 
back on the same way. All right, belt is changed. I'll work on the air filter. Air filter. Clip. Another clip. Whole thing should come up. Pull the old one out. Last cover. All right. I'm gonna put the filler cap back on. All right. Let's go turn it on. Let it run for a minute, and uh, we'll check the fluids one more time. no crazy lights I was just telling us the hoods open which it is we already know that All right, we got that done. Uh, as you saw, we did the oil change. We changed out the air filter, and I also changed out the serpentine belt while I was under there. All was pretty easy to do. Uh, I hope uh, you 
were able to follow along. Um, tried to get as much light as I could in there. It was getting kind of dark when I started. Uh, but as you can see, oil life now 100%, life left. And everything is running smooth, no crazy lights, uh, no squeal under the belt, nothing's chopping. Uh, the air seems to be sucking in just fine. So all in all, I would say we did a good job. Uh, as I'm sure you can already tell by a lot of my other videos, I'm not a mechanic, Not I just uh, do the stuff I can, save a few dollars and hopefully help others uh, learn how to do it themselves as well. So I appreciate everybody watching, please share. Uh, still trying to grow the channel here, the more people that see these videos, the more uh, content I can put out that's a little more exciting. So uh, please share, and I appreciate everybody's support. Hope everybody had a great holiday, and we'll see you next week.